The documentary Behind the Orange Curtain is uncovering the prescription drugs epidemic in Orange County, but of course it's nationwide. Joining us uh, this morning is award-winning producer Natalie Costa to tell us how leaders are taking action. We're going to talk about the legislation a little bit here mm -hmm. as well. This is such an important issue, we thought we'd bring you back a second time. So that's yeah. why you're still here and we appreciate it. But first, for those who are just tuning in and didn't watch the last hour, why did you make this documentary? My daughter's friend died in uh, three years ago this month, and I had no idea that there was such a problem with prescription drugs and our, our youth and our young men and women, and um, started digging, and it, it just got bigger than life itself. And we lose one person every 24 minutes in the United States to a prescription drug overdose. And the, the movie uh, concentrates orange curtain, but it is a nationwide phenomenon, and you're getting some uh, a lot of feedback nationwide already. We are. Um, the DEA is in there. They explain that it is a national epidemic. Um, we have, um, in 2010, 227 million prescriptions were written for opiates. So that's enough to medicate a man and woman in this country around the clock for 30 days, every man and woman. Uh, we have the CURE system, which we need to implement in California, which is the Prescription Drug Monitoring Program. It's there. It's virtually bankrupt legislation. It's SB 809 was mm -hmm. introduced to fire it up, get it funded, and make it mandatory that every physician uh, use it. And it'll track, because the only way you can get prescription right. drugs on the street is through doctors. Right. I want to get back to that issue in a mm -hmm. moment, but it is. It's a simple thing to get these prescription drugs, and that's part of what your movie points out. Let's, let's pay attention to this right here. Where are they getting uh, their drugs? That's a funny question. Anywhere. We could go outside here and probably find them on a street corner. We could probably go in the medicine chest of your house and find some. From your friends, doctors. Parents. Honestly, probably within five minutes, I could make a phone call and find someone who's got it. Uh, especially a lot of moms uh, in Southern California have Xanax, uh, Vicodin, different prescription drugs. Um, a lot of people are prescribed Xanax for um, anti-anxiety. It's actually a very easy one to get prescribed. Uh, and I know plenty of moms who just have it accessible in their, uh, their cabinets at home. Not me. <laughs> Hence why it's so widespread. Mm -hmm. And Natalie, a, a, another issue is the doctors themselves. There's Correct. a lot of doctors out there that uh uh, are prescribing this stuff and, and have no business doing it, right? Correct. Dr. Lisa Sang, for example, is sitting in jail in Orange County. I mean, I'm sorry, in L.A. Mm -hmm. um, she is in jail for a year, awaiting trial, 27,000 prescriptions for opiates, and she's on. Uh, she's try being tried for the murder of three and probably another 16 felonies. Um, Dr. Yi in Mission Viejo was sitting in Starbucks writing prescriptions. You come in, you give them cash, you touch your toes, take your blood pressure, and out you go with a prescription for OxyContin. That's something else that your film uh, details and targets. Let's listen to this soundbite. Unfortunately, there's a lot of dirty doctors everywhere. It seems to be a, a growing trend because of the, the money involved. What's worse is they prey on our children. They literally prey on kids with enough disposable income who can afford an $80 pop of a pill. And the next day, it's $160 pop. Then they can't afford it, and they go on to heroin. Thing called cure is something that you need to be passed on, pass, passed in, in California. Right. It's, it's it's here already, but it's running out of money. It is. It, it'll, it's virtually bankrupt. It's manned by one civil servant. So Senator DeSonye put together a bill. Uh, Kamala Harris is backing it. She's the attorney general in the state of California. Um, it's going to. They want to fund it. Get it uh, real time. Um, have everyone use it. I think it'll cost a physician about nine dollars a year to belong to cures. So it'll track. It'll it'll pinch the supply of dirty doctors and prescription drugs to the street instantly. How this this is already out, right? You can find it. Where can you find this documentary? Uh, it is on iTunes right now mm -hmm. and also on Amazon. And the name of it again is it, Behind the Orange Curtain. All right. Thank you so much for Thank sharing. Thank you. We appreciate